All right, let me try this again. I'm at the cemetery uh, visiting John. John passed away October the 18th, 2020. Mm -mm. 2015, October the 18th, 2015. So anyway, I'm here at the uh, cemetery giving my buddy a shout out as I always do. I believe this is the ninth year um, since John been in his deepest sleep of earth. But the spirit is always, always awesome and always blissful. I love my buddy. So with that said, uh, let me get out the car. I was stuck for a minute. Mm. Uh, it's kind of hard today on coming to visit him. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> here we go right here. The grass, the grass and everything kind of overwhelms his uh, plot. But uh, that's okay, because I got him at home. I got him at home anyway. Uh, let me just kind of clear the way here. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Helen. Happy death day in a couple of days, John. How you doing, sweetheart? Ooh. Kind of hard today, but I got my composure once again. Happy, happy deep sleep birthday, John. Deaf day, October the 18th, 2015. My buddy been in his deepest sleep of life. He's just waiting till the trumpet blows. But spiritually, I got him, always have kept him ever since that day I brought him here to be with his wife, Helen, and his sister, Clara and her husband Charles. Today is October the 16th, 2025. <laughs> oh God, 2024. October 16th, 2024. I am just so, my God. But I'll be all right in a minute or two. May God continue to be the glory of this spiritual realm that I carry. A shout out to my grandma Zelma, a shout out to my auntie Tutu, and of course, John, we are all here spiritually to wish you a happy, happy ninth year in God's company of your deep sleep until the trumpet blows. Oh Lord, it was hard for me on this ninth year, elite style numbers nine, my God. Whew. So with that said, I'm much better than I was when I got out the car. But it's bound to be because I carry so much spiritual weight. When I got here, it just poof, exploded. And it's okay. I love the explosion. That way, spiritually, I am released. I come to see my bud, bud. Here we go right there. I love you, dude best man ever I have a testimony for this spiritual love that I carry on a daily this man showed me how a man really truly supposed to treat a woman not from her waist down but from her hips up Woo! go ahead John yes John Joe go ahead baby may God continue to be the glory may God continue to be the captain May God continue to be the mercy and the grace on the spiritual realm that I carry. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I come to the will of your spiritual throne as humbly as I know how. I give you thanksgiving and glory and honor. Today was a beautiful day. Uh, God showed his uh, love for me on a return. I thank God for it. In the name of Jesus, continuously to bless me as I continue to help bless thyself, help bless others that need a blessing, not want a blessing. And I say all these things in Jesus Christ's name, and I take nothing. I don't want nothing. 
I just want to be able to have Christ ahead of my life and that still sustain me until my time to meet Jesus spiritually, emotionally, and my soul. I surrender it all to you right now, Father God, October the 16th, 2024. In Jesus' name, we all humbly say, Amen. All right, John Joe. Woo. I got another stop to make and then I'm back into my spiritual shelter, my spiritual blessing. Yes, thank you, John, for everything. And thank you so much for allowing me to carry you spiritually. And thank you for guiding when I can't see. Thank you for guiding when I can see. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. My kind of quietness. God's kind of sleep spiritually. Yes. Look at somebody and put their loved ones a Halloween over there. And then there go some beautiful flowers. I don't bring flowers anymore and decorate John's and Helen's uh, and the sister and her husband's uh, burial here anymore. I did that way before it started popping. But um, I have John at home spiritually. I have a, a memorial uh, for him. And uh, I nurse that. <laughs> so I don't nurse here anymore. I just come by on special occasions like today. My friend, my buddy, his uh, death day is October the 15th, 18th, uh, 2015, he passed away. And so I'm here October the 16th, 2024, nine years later, and I'm still the big old baby of the, <laughs> yes. Oh, pain don't last always. Thank God for Jesus. Pain don't last always. My God, I'm so grateful for that because I never, ever thought pain would leave. But pain comes and it goes. That's part of being a child of Christ. We battle on a spiritual every day. That demon and that devil and them warlocks, they always got something to do. Well, guess what? Today is the day. And I want to thank you, Jesus, for showing them that you are in full control. Not me, but you. And I thank you, Lord Jesus. I surrender everything right now back to you, Father God. Thank you for allowing me to come and visit John one more year. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye.